Heather Duplessy Allen Drive. Weekdays from four on News Talk ZB. Well, as promised, the government's bringing back the three strikes law. It's just been announced today. It'll be in Cabinet by mid-year, and it's going to change just a wee bit from last time. So one of the criticisms of the last law is that it sent a guy to jail for kissing a woman on a street in Wellington without consent. But because it was his third strike, he was sent away for the maximum sentence, seven years. But that was actually way too harsh because he had mental health issues and it was a kiss, which is a pretty low-level and decent assault. So this government is fixing that by applying the three strikes law only to higher-level crimes that would qualify once the sentencing principles are applied to two years in jail. Plus, we're still talking about really serious things, aggravated injury, wounding with intent to injure, indecent assault, and so on. But now, this is not our first rodeo with the three strikes law, is it? So we already know the arguments about this, don't we? And Labour trotted one out today. Won't work doesn't deter the criminals. And then the Greens said it will lead to grossly unfair results that disproportionately impact Māori. Probably both are true, but that's not the point, is it? The critics of this law completely miss the point. The point of the three strikes law is to punish criminals who keep on hurting people, and that's okay. We do not need to apologise for sending bad people to jail. This is such a good example of how the crime and justice argument has for the last few years lost the plot. It always turns into an argument about the rights and the dignity of the criminal. Is it too hard on them? Is it bad for their rehab? I mean, you know, of course we want a rehab, but that's an add-on. That's not the reason we put them in jail. We put them in jail to punish them for what they do and to keep us primarily safe from them. And if they don't get the message the first time, or the second time, frankly, they should go to jail for, for longer to keep us safe from them. So there is nothing to be ashamed of for, as the Greens say, the government being hell-bent on funneling more and more people into prisons. Frankly, if they are committing serious crimes repeatedly, that is exactly where they should be funneled, right? Heather Duplessy Allen Drive, weekdays from four on News Talk ZB.